<clears throat> Shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rechah HaKadosh. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth that's constantly ruling well through his spirit and power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai. Shalom to the sincere brothers, the believers that's pushing this word wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity, not giving up, not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly staying on that straight and narrow fighting for your crowns in these last days that we are truly living in. Shalom to the few sisters. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. This is the brother Ira coming back with another lesson to the Lord, willing to edify and feed the lambs of the Lord. Okay. And, um, as we get closer to the end, we see that wickedness continuously keeps multiplying here, all right? And what's at the forefront is you have the ABC Mafia, okay, being pushed heavily, all right? They're attacking your children, okay? They're controlling the narrative. They're all over the goddamn place. All right. And as the scriptures say, OK, if the Lord doesn't speak up the time, no flesh shall be saved. All right. And um, with this agenda at hand, OK, um, really, it's pushing forth for pedos to be allowed to uh, harm your children. All right for it to be justified, for it to be okay, okay? And um, the only ones that are speaking out against this abomination and this wickedness, okay, all the ones that are signing and crying, praying to Yahweh by Shema Oshad, the Lord bring it into this place, okay? Because things is getting out of hand, all right? And um, the Lord is getting ready to utterly destroy this place, all right? And... Um, as we get close to the end, the scriptures describe this place as the mother of harlots, the mother of abomination. And that's exactly what America is, okay? Babylon the Great, the place of confusion, okay? Where perverseness runs rapid all through these streets, okay? And not only here in America, but that fornication, that wine has been pushed even throughout the other nations, all right? <clears throat> that spirit that that uh, evil spirit is pushed throughout the throughout the world. Okay, and um, I'm gonna start with Second Ezra chapter fifteen. I'm gonna start at verse five. It says, "Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled." Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. OK, and right now, I the Lord is pushing a pestilence through the world, which is targeting, OK, the ABC mafia. All right. They're getting the jungle pox. And um, that's for the errors of their ways, okay? Which tells you in, a, in the book of Romans, the first chapter, all right? You know, them leaving the natural uses of, you know, men being with women and women being with men, okay? They're receiving the recompense of their errors from Yahweh by Shemel Shai, all right? which is really becoming a, a, a deadly virus, okay, and a disgusting one at that, all right? But what I want to show after I read Revelation 17, a couple of scriptures in there, is how the fornication of what they push has spread, okay? This whole pedal agenda, all right? Um, so let me continue reading. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. So the the elect we're sighing and crying here. 
all right, for all the abominations and the things that are being done here, all right? And we're praying that Yahweh Bashem Abishai brings destruction upon the modern day Babylon, which he will, all right? Because Babylon is going to fall, all right? And then it will never rise again, okay? And the way it's going to fall is going to fall by the ways of fire, which fire is a cleansing agent that the Lord is going to use, okay, to utterly burn this place and all those that are down with, all right, the beast, okay, and its system. So let's go over here to Revelation, the 17th chapter, all right, let's start at verse 1. It says, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. That sitteth upon many waters, all right? And that many waters is dealing with the people with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, all right? The kings of the earth regarding the different nations, okay, that are aligned and in league with the spearhead of the world, which is the Edomites, all right? Okay? The elites, all right? They have committed fornication with this place, okay? And when you look up this word fornication... Let's get it right here. It goes into the Greek word porneo. Strong's G, 4203. Parnuo. Parnuo. A parnuo. Okay, parnuo. All right. Now, reading on the definition, it says to prostitute one's body to the lust of another, to give oneself to unlawful sexual intercourse, okay, to commit fornication, all right, in the way that Israel commits fornication because Israel is known as the woman of the most high. So when Israel, okay, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American, the Seminole Indians, when we worship different gods, that's how we that's how we commit spiritual fornication against the most high. Okay. Dealing with idolatry. Okay. When when a woman goes and creeps off with another man okay and that's the reason that's one that's one of the major reasons why we're here in a babylon the great all right because of the fornication that we committed against the heavenly father okay it says um now matter of fact let me keep reading and i'll get the next point it says to be given to idolatry to worship idols, to permit oneself to be drawn away by another into idolatry, all right? So now when you go into the strong definition, it says to act the harlot, all right? Literally indulge in unlawful lust of either sex or practice idolatry, commit fornication, all right? So mind you, keep this in mind, indulge in unlawful lust, okay? Because this pedal agenda is at an all times high right now, all right? And it's been going on for, for years, but now it's even pushed more heavier in these times. I'm gonna show this video in a second after I finish reading uh, the rest of this these scriptures, okay? Just to show you, all right? How the kings of the earth have committed fornication, all right? With Babylon the Great, okay? Just an example. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, all right, her ways, okay, her democracy, all right, they, them trying to uh, follow suit after the ways of Babylon the Great, okay, how they try to mirror themselves, okay, it says, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, Okay, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. All right, of the earth, abominations of the earth. Okay, so now let me show you this video. It's a brotherhood built on constructing good men. And you know, the best-selling thriller from Da Vinci Code author Dan Brown is, uh, the new one is called, what is called Lost Symbol, right? Lost Symbol. 
set in the nation's capital and it's centered on the world's oldest and largest fraternity. Brown's book has renewed interest in the Freemasons and as Elaine Quijano tells us this morning, it is a secret society that is still very well represented in Washington. Uh, we live by the square, we're upright individuals. The congressman describes Masonry as a fraternity. It's a brotherhood built on constructing good men. Keep it honest, there are potentially hundreds of military employees and contractors who may have bought child pornography online but haven't been prosecuted or even in some cases investigated. That's right, you heard me, child pornography. As many as 1,700 names, according to a U.S. Senator, on a list of 5,200 from an Internet sting operation overlooked the first time around four years ago. Only now are they supposedly getting a second look and only after pressure from investigative reporters and the U.S. Senator you're about to hear from, Republican Charles Grassley. Senator Grassley, you were told that 5,200 Defense Department employees had allegedly purchased child porn, and yet you're saying only 3,500 of those names were cross-checked by a defense investigator to see if they were really DOD personnel. That's mind-boggling. Why weren't all of them cross-checked? Well, we don't have an answer to that question. It's a brotherhood built on constructing good men. They're called dancing boys, tea boys, or by many who have had to turn a blind eye to them, Afghan sex slaves. A subculture of bachabazi or boy play is widely known in Afghanistan, but for U.S. service members there, the abuse of these children is infuriatingly hard to stop, especially when the abuse comes from American-backed Afghan commanders there. I tell my wife, I had a boy because every commander had one. In a 2010 PBS documentary, a former Afghan commander of the Northern Alliance spoke openly, shamelessly, about this sick practice. If I didn't have a boy, I couldn't compete with the others. Today, the New York Times reports that the... You see? So, just going to play that quick point. That was Afghan right there, all right? With that, with the, with, uh, he said, if, if I didn't have a boy, I couldn't compete with the American commanders, all right? Show you going back into just a small glimpse of that abomination that's being spread across the, the, the world, all right? This is the reason why Esau must be stopped, okay? All right, the other kings of the earth have committed fornication, all right, with with, with this man, all right? Um, Revelation 17 and two, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Okay, this is so 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 sex trafficking. All right, this goes on between amongst the other nations as well. All right, matter of fact, they show you um uh the movie. They show you that a glimpse that in the movie Taken. Okay, I forget the the main character uh his name, but you can watch that movie taken all right i believe his daughter got taken and she was placed into the uh sex traffic ring okay um somewhere out in europe all right <clears throat> you know so it says and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication all right so this is this is another reason why uh these heathens are going to be shackled and chained man all right and 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 uh judgment is on its way Okay, Yahweh Shai is getting ready to return. Matter of fact, I'm going to end it with that. I just wanted to just show that Isaiah chapter 19, he's getting ready to destroy all the different gods and put everything under subjection underneath him. Okay, including America. All right, America is going to get the worst destruction. Okay, and the whole world is going to see it. It's like, 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 like the saying goes, it will be televised. Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, okay? Egypt is speaking about America. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, all right? Because when the Lord comes, he's not coming to play any games, all right? He's coming to subdue all his enemies, all right? And gather his friends, which is the elect, okay, upon the destruction of America or Babylon the Great. All right. So I just wanted to show that something real quick through the spirit. Um, didn't want to make this too long. Um, this article is from the Nairland Forum. Uh, you can pretty much type in this. I'm not going to say it out loud, but it pretty much gives you some points in here. I have some 
you know, a couple of videos, you, you chew the meat, spit, spit out the bones. And um, I do pray this was edifying. And, um, you know, it's on to the next. Shalom.